Hello everybody and welcome back. In front of us here we have Steam. Steam is a valid way of getting Blender on your computer and if you don't mind it automatically updating, it's a really good choice as well. So how do we go and get it? Well you probably have guessed by now if you've used Steam before, we can search for it and we can go ahead and get Blender and it's only in one place on here. Unlike the Microsoft Store, um, here there's only one position and if we come down you can see that I've installed it like this before and what we can do here, I believe this video Video is playing with sound there we go I'll turn that off we can go and install it now I've got this free button here so I can go ahead and click that and it will ask me where do I want install it's installed I'm actually going to install a version using my steam library I'm gonna pop it on there and it'll take a few moments to download as it would do normally however I don't know what version this is actually downloading, do I? So we go around here, we see that it is Blender. We can have a look at the options down here. And this is great, of course, because Steam works on Mac, on Linux, and on Windows. These instructions work on all of the platforms. But this should be Blender 2.91 at the moment, even though it's very difficult to try and work out what's going on here. But we'll soon see in a moment when we go over to our library and then selecting software, you can see here we've got Blender. Now, if I right click on that or select it and go to the settings cog over on the right hand side and go to properties. So we can either do the cog there in properties or we can right click on Blender in our application list and go to properties. We get a couple of options come up and we want to go down to the betas area. If we go to betas area, we can see this is selected to none at the moment, which will just download whatever's on the main Blender page. So in this case, it'll be Blender 2.91. In fact, I'm going to launch it now just to double check that. I, that was too quick up there on the command prompt for me to see, but I'm pretty sure when it opens up, it'd be Blender. Here we go, 2.910. Absolutely fine. So that's working, great. But what happens if I wanted the LTS version? How do I get that on Steam? Well, we simply right click, go to properties, and when we're in betas on the sidebar here, we can change it. So we've got which beta would you like to opt into? And look at that, we can even go back to 2.77. Now, I doubt anybody will want to do that, but if you wanted 2.83, the long-term support version, it's right there. We simply select it, and you see here it's queue updated, and it will re-download Blender. In fact, I can click update there, and it will re-download Blender, but this time it will be Blender 2.83.10. I believe that's the latest version. The only thing you cannot do on Steam is you cannot get the latest latest version so if you were feeling a bit risky or you wanted to try out the latest features that blender is offering just to get ahead of the game or just to see what it's all about then you're going to have to go to the blender website and go to those experimental versions i was showing you earlier so we can see this is almost done here and now that that's done this will update and this is generally how i have the long-term support versions working i have them installed through steam so when blender 2.83 11 comes out I will automatically get that update as well and it's been quite speedy on Steam in terms of getting those updates as they're available and we can see here Blender 2.83.10 perfect if you have any questions around that remember to reach out it's early stages at the moment so that's all done and we've covered the installation using Steam so that's it for this lecture and I'll see you all in the next one